Hello and welcome to the video tutorial number 18 of how to set up an online shop with PHP and Dreamweaver. Well, you remember the last thing we did was the user registration. Here in the registration form it asked me the name, email and password. Now the text next thing we will do is in this chapter, as a starter, will be modifying personal data. It's normal that someone wants to modify his password or change his email. Changing the name isn't that usual, but well, theoretically nobody will change name, but we will have to offer the possibility in case in the register process there has been a mistake, okay? To do it, we will first log in as a registered user. I think my email was uh, horvidu at gmail.com and, uh, and the password was triple X. Okay, here it said, hello Jorge, and what I want now is that when I click in Jorge, get a page to modify my data, so to say, th uh, that I can modify those data on my right side. So, we go to Dreamweaver, and if we're going to make a new page, you think index will be handy. I'm going to open it one second, I'm going to make a copy of index, copy paste, and it will be called, for example, um, user modify. It's pretty clear what this file will do. Inside user modify, the first thing we will change will be the title. Let's go for it. Modify users data. <coughs> and here we will add the form for the person to modify the data. Okay? How will we make that form? I'm sure many of you have already advanced this because it's once again repeating what we did in the administration part. Anyway, we will do this step by step since this is something we'll do quite often and it's a good idea to review if if we've got these concepts clear. The first thing we will need, um, do you remember I said here the session variable that matches the ID user, which is the ID of this person in the database? That ID is a data the person doesn't even know, it's just an autonomic I used to differentiate one user from another, or emails, or, or, or whatever. But for me the ID is the key data to, to handle the database. We will see this when we look at the purchase process and on the run, you realize it makes sense. So the next thing would be taking out... <coughs> um, okay, want to modify some data? Fine. The first thing you need is to obtain those data and display them in the screen in order to modify. So what we do now is obtaining a record set. We'll call it user data. The connection is the usual, no complications at all. Inside the database, we will pick the table user, which is the one we want to modify. Then select the whole table user, where the ID user equals var user. I add the variable here that will be called this way an integer type preset value 0 and the execution time value will be the session variable um, what session variable? the one we have here mmid user with, which matches the id user now we will check it it is mmid user ok and accept Now it will create us a code here in the left which is as follows. Select everything from the table user where the ID user equals get st value string that's var user data user matching this one session mm id user, right? Just to refresh your mind in the login when when someone enters the page, we have an error because we have modified things here but nothing happens. Um uh, if you realize the MMID user is exactly this ID user, it comes from this query before. I explained it in chapter 16, but anyway, it's important for you to know what it means. Basically, that we are picking the ID user, the ID is the number that represents the user. I've repeated this many times, so it won't be tedious. Right here, we have the query. Control S to save the first query. The next thing would be the modification form. Modify your data. Thank you. 
looks kind of robotic but well and here we go straight to insert we've done it many times data objects update records and assistant inside assistant the connection is the usual one the table to update would be table user the record will be data user we've just made it exclusive key column is id user it's the one that will define exactly what user we're we talking about and after after the update go to we will create a new page user modification okay dot php as you can see pretty clear I'm gonna copy this because I will use it now what data shall I modify well obviously I won't let the user modify the user that's out of mind neither the status the active or inactive status is something that belongs to me as an administrator to manage so I will leave name email and password to be modified if necessary I think this will do uh, we accept and it creates the form automatically you see here we will fix it a little the default names we have update user data instead of update records um, there we have it and with this uh, there isn't there isn't much else to do I will save and will create. Um, do you remember the OK file, the verification one? I copy index and paste the name of the previous one. <coughs> User underscore modifications underscore OK, which is the page. This one here will tell me when I click on accept data. And in the page of user modification, I will write thank you. And, and here um, we have registered your new data. Thanks. Hey, no, no, Th thanks is already there. Right. Let's see if this is working. Well, it won't work because we haven't made a link here. It's missing. Do you remember this was in the part of the include in, I think it was in the catalog, correct? And here it says, hello, and then obtain username and so on, which is what ob obtain me the username as such, right? So I don't know if you want me to do it now in the very name or with a link behind we'll add a link after it I don't care let's do something I will close the PHP here I open it again here so that I get a small HTML gap here I can use you see and here I will make a link to user modify bear in mind here I'm not passing any parameter because theoretically when I'm here my session variable has already got a value I couldn't reach that link in any other way later we will see that that there are more ways to do it now I will write here modify data or, or just modify I think it's pretty clear we we add a couple of brackets one here and another here I save and let's see how does it look like okay there it is maybe the modify is a little too big but we can change that if you want and that way we can practice the different styles until we have a good command of it um, let's go to the styles folder do you remember they were in the styles folder but I can't remember if it was this or this so let's check in the code here user modification okay we'll review the code a little let's see where are the CSS look here it is its main CSS I probably copied it for some reason fine so that's the one I have to modify I open main CSS and I will change the size of that link so I'm going to modify the A for example as you can see there is a lot of explicatory text I will do one thing to make it clear I will make the a dot modification user modification user kind of long but we will have it clear I will delete this this will be the color and we will modify something else as for example the font size 
it will leave it in 9 pixels, I accept and it automatically is generated as you can see. And now the hover, which is when I pass the pointer over the text, just the same. And I will... Uh, no, no, I will, I will leave it like that by now. Uh, I save, save, update. And I haven't applied the class yet, so it will be modification user. I go to the catalog and inside href I type the class class equals modification user save and though here you won't see anything because it isn't linked catalog PHP is just a file it includes and you see now it appears with the size I chose 9 pixels now you can make it even cuter I will delete this thing here I don't think it's very smart save and perfect it's much smaller, you can even do it over the name, but I think it's the same. And well, the other thing we could do apart from the button modify is the button exit. I mean log out. I think it's important. So we will create a new link here next to modify that will be log out. As you have seen in plenty places. Uh, where will it take us? to a page we haven't created yet that will be called user logout what will user logout do? obviously it will log us out so we write here logging out and um, thanks for purchasing in our site for example and uh, and the other thing would be um, bear in mind that when I log in the web when I connect to the web I mean we always, we always get this connect user new sounds when I access the web I'm assigning three values to three session variables what I will do will be um, leaving these values blank when I log out I will format them and in addition make up a set with them. Making a set means undeclare the function. I know it sounds weird but th that would be the definition. Uh, right, the first thing we will do is taking this piece here. Its function is starting session etc. I will put it in the very beginning. There we are, no fear. I save and then I will take these three variables here in the file access PHP and uh, I will take them to user logout and I will do it here before anything else and I close PHP you can see I'm typing it but I will do something for you to see. It's much easier if you come here and just click in this sign. You see it adds the text automatically. Oops, I did three times for you to see. Well, I have these variables here and I'm going to leave them blank with just a couple of quotation marks in each. And then, then we can try the unset. Let's try it now before putting more functions thanks a lot for purchasing we get back to the catalog where will the logout button take us to the page we've just created user logout here it is i save update oops the logout is too big I, I didn't apply the corresponding class let's do it i take the class modification user and put it inside the a save and here we have it we should tidy this a little let's do it so that it doesn't look so drab we put here PR and we get it slightly better let's see the first thing is to modify it takes us to user modify but not in the true folder this is the double dot stuff we mentioned before right um, let's do this we delete the dots and the dashes uh, since it's taking us to a folder in a different level so when the catalog is including included the any of these files login OK or whatever uh, will be at the same level as user modification OK user logout etc so we have to delete the dots 
This happens because I put that file in includes, right? It says the small price I have to pay for having all this tidy. I save, go back, update, and click on modify. Here it shows the data, and this would be interesting to modify and modify it as a password, but I will leave you to do it. Uh, so we already did that. I click on update and we get this. Let's make some changes. Instead of Jorge, Jorge Pepe. Here, um, Gmail too, and the password has one more X. Well, not to put my leg, I will type Jorvido 2, which is easier. <coughs> we update, and the data you see have been stored correctly. You will have to put this in password mode and a little more. If I hit logout, it thanks me for shopping in the page and again gives me the option to register. So the logout has been correct. I mean, uh, the data that keep my session open, these ones, have a null value now. So we could say my session has expired and the machine no longer knows who I am. Well, and not to stretch this too much, in the next chapter we will start taking the product info. I think after after 18 chapters we have practiced enough as to do that. We've learned many things and from now on, as the thing is going to handle more files, um, I will upload a zip file of the course of, of what we've done so far. You will find it in the blog in in blog.ayzweb.com. It's in the video comments as well, and you can download this if uh, with all the files we are creating. All this uh, in case you started late or if you want to start from chapter 17 onwards. My advice is that you don't do that. But if you have any kind of problem with programming or whatever, you can always check these files to see what is failing. And not much left to say. I thank your comments and see you on chapter 19. Regards.